Ever found a creature with a hundred legs scurrying across your bathroom or basement floor at night? This little intruder, Scutigera coleopetrata, known as the house centipede or a thousand legger, might give you a start. Typically an inch or two long, these creatures are dark brown or yellow with 15 segments and many pairs of legs. These common household insects are found in many homes throughout the United States, but they originated in the Mediterranean region of Greece, Italy, Portugal, Spain, and other areas. Their bodies run from one inch to 1.4 inches, but larger specimens are sometimes encountered. The many legs and long antenna give the household centipede an appearance of being three to four inches long. They have pincher-like legs, known as forcipules, which they use for hunting and self-defense. The venom they administer on their prey comes from their forcipules. These are not part of their mandibles, however, so they sting rather than bite their food. They are nocturnal predators preying on a range of pests like cockroaches, spiders, and bedbugs. They have even been known to feed on wasps. Since a wasp can harm them, the house centipede will rush in, apply their venom, and retreat, giving the venom time to take effect. If they find themselves in danger, they are capable of dropping their legs to escape. Thousand leggers are meticulous groomers and can be seen curling around and grooming their legs with their forcipules. Despite their intimidating appearance, many believe house centipedes pose no health risks and are generally considered just a nuisance. The house centipede can live its entire life in buildings, unlike its more dangerous and larger tropical cousins. Stings to humans are considered rare, but can happen if the centipede is cornered or roughly handled. Normally localized pain is experienced similar to a bee sting. Many consider the house centipede to be a friend because it hunts and eats other pests, but are they a sign of something more damaging that is often overlooked? Why are they in your house in the first place? Well, house centipedes are essentially moisture enthusiasts. They are attracted to damp conditions and find solace in cool, moist areas like your basement, crawl space, laundry room, or bathroom. They do like living outside, but cool temperatures can drive them inside. They are commonly seen crawling along the floor, but can scale walls and ceilings with ease. Keep in mind their presence in your home isn't just about their preference for damp environments. It's also an indicator of a more significant pest problem. If you see thousand leggers roaming your man cave, you likely have a moisture problem and a pest problem. I'm not so sure I want these creatures in my home, are you? So how do these thousand leggers come to life? The life cycle of a house centipede is a fascinating journey that begins in the egg stage. After mating, a female lays her eggs in a damp secluded spot like behind the baseboard of your basement. She can lay from 60 to 151 eggs. These eggs hatch into larvae which look like miniature versions of the adults but with fewer legs. As they grow, they pass through a series of molts, each time gaining additional body segments and pairs of legs. Eventually they reach the adult stage, becoming the long-legged, mini-segmented creatures we recognize. House centipedes live anywhere from three to seven years and can begin mating in the third year. I won't go into the details of how mating occurs. I really wish Marty Stauffer was here to explain it to us. Based on the breeding cycle, it is possible for one female thousand legger to have up to 755 babies. To sum it up, house centipedes with their distinct characteristics and life cycle are more than just common household insects. They are indicators of a larger issue moisture problems in your home. Remember, the presence of house centipedes may not be a cause for alarm, but it's definitely a call to check your home for a moisture problem. Crawl Space Ninja and Basement Ninja won't exterminate house centipedes, but we can eradicate that wet basement or crawl space in order to make your home less appealing to them.